NCPD, open up! Barry! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! Cut the bullshit! Just open up! We came here as colleagues, nothing else. Haven't heard from you in a while. We're worried. No, now leave me alone! Congrats, Mendez. Way to be a prick. Oh, what? So I'm the bad guy? I'm not the one who's holed up, playing the attention whore. He lost a friend. Can you blame him? He's not the first or the last. It's called life. Hey, what's going on? I live right upstairs. So keep on living. Stop minding other people's biz. Mendez, hold on. It's his neighbor. Someone in this tower go cuckoo again? This is a private matter, so just move along. Wait, he might know Barry. Is there anything I can do? Maybe. You know Barry at all? This is a mega tower. Spill into badges to get you pegged as a snitch. This'll only take a sec. Do you know Barry? More or less. Struck up a convo once or twice. He's a friend from the precinct. Left the force not long ago. He broke down after his best friend died. We're worried he'll do something stupid. Relax, Petrova. Barry's got nerves of steel. He's just a spiteful old bastard. Mendez! Could you check on him when he's chilled down? Sure, why not? It's not like we're miles apart. Thanks. Just... be patient. Cops falling in rough times can be... touchy. Let's see what I can do. I don't know. Sounds too personal for me. I'm not the best shoulder to cry on. Think about it, okay? Barry's a good guy. And a good cop. He doesn't deserve to end up alone. I'll consider it. Can't promise anything. Hey, Barry! Everything all right in there? I'm gonna take that as a yes. I'll try again later. Barry? Am I remembering that right? Who is it? V, your neighbor from upstairs. Remember me? Talked about Prem rides. Back then you were pumped about the Mizutani Shion. I said it was for flash posers. <laughs> you don't forget a gunk thing like that. You gave me this look. I was about to hightail it to the Badlands right then and there. I remember. What do you want? I just want to see what was shaking. Friends say you never leave your unit. I think I've got an inkling as to why. I've seen that look before. It's all too common among people like us. Us? <laughs> you don't look like a cop. Badges don't get a monopoly on loss. You see death every day in my line of work. And you get used to it, of course. Until it hits someone you're close to. You too. Come in. You can't let yourself fall apart, Barry. Not here. Not in Night City. You're a badge. Ex-badge, but still. You gotta stay strong. I mean, if you won't, who will? I just want to talk, that's all. I know it's what you need right now, even if you don't want to admit it. I can't turn back time for you, but I can sit next to you and listen. Remind you that you're not in this alone. Now hold on a sec. We barely know each other and you just rock up here talking to me about my problems. Where'd you get the idea something with me was up? You watching me? Someone sent you? You should get out there more. Go for a drink with your pals. Life goes on, Barry. I won't wait for you to catch up. Wallowing in loneliness and self-loathing isn't gonna solve anything. Maybe I don't wanna solve anything. Didn't that cross your mind? All right, you got me. Your friends asked me to drop in on you, so I thought, hey, why not? He's a stand-up guy. Who cares if he has shitty taste when it comes to street shredders? Come back just to get your ass kicked. Man, you really know how to cheer a guy up. 
Maybe those two assets really are worried about me. Got another dry, sun filled week coming your well, way, Night City. All right, then. Come on in. Not like you'll change anything. Hey, you never know. I lost someone close to me, too. A damn good friend. What do you mean, too? Wait. This about Andrew. They, uh... Told you about him. Best bud I ever had. Known in my whole life. Only person I could spill to without being judged. I'm guessing things at the NCPD haven't changed a lick, huh? One time? A Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes. For shits and giggles. I couldn't do shit. The son of a bitch had corporal protection. <sighs> Typical. Our chief greases his palms with an anonymous donation. And guess what? Officially, kid blew his own brains out. Right in front of your eyes. Something died in me then. I couldn't do it anymore. I just... A few months later, Andrew passed, and everything went to shit. You didn't have anyone to unload on at work? How about Petrova and Mendez? Petrova's a decent gal, but she's not good with this stuff. Mendez just doesn't get it. He thinks us blues need to be tough. Can't bear the sight of a kid getting murdered. Born with pussy genes. But well, you told him about Andrew. Honestly, I thought about it a lot. Anyway, they don't know everything. Better that way. Can you tell me how Andrew died? Does it matter? Normally, from old age. It's no wonder, seeing as he was only a few years younger than my grandma. Dying of old age? In Night City? That merits a monument. The whole world should gaze up at it in awe. <laughs> Ashbox and the niche will have to do. Mendez doesn't know shit about life. Everyone's got their limits, even him. He just hasn't reached them. Not like you. What if he's right, though? Maybe my genes are soft. Don't only the strongest survive. If he felt nothing, that means his loss wouldn't have had any meaning. I guess so. Thanks for the talk, V. I am. Um, I need time to take all this in. Sure thing. Take care. Mendez is right. You gotta toughen up. Tell the world to go fuck itself. Right. So I'm just supposed to forget everything I've seen. A kid. Andrew. He's gone and you're here. It's time to stop living in the past. You won't change anything by sitting here alone, wallowing in misery. I think we're done here. Suit yourself. <laughs> it's you. You talked to Barry? He finally decided to get his shit together? Who cry out loud, Mendez? Hey, so... What did Barry tell you exactly about that friend he lost? Not much. Hardly ever spoke about him. Said once he was the only one who could understand him. It's nice to have someone like that. We had a little chat. He seems chilled, but seriously down in the dumps. He's got a bone to pick with Mendez. What? So why doesn't he say so to my face? When danger lurks, trauma team will be there. Sign up for our class. Got no idea. Ask him yourself. You fucking bet I will. His little temper tantrum must be over if he spilled to you. The only thing I don't know is whether to give him a taste of my fist or a shot of Boomalon. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Clearly he couldn't stand his job and didn't have anyone to talk to about it. He said you didn't even try to understand him. See? Was I right? Give me a break. Barry likes playing the drama queen. You just gotta shake some sense into him, trust me. We'll see. 
We'll have to check in on him later. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. Mary! Mary, you fucking asshole! I'm sorry, okay? Mendez, it's too late. He can't hear you. you your genes were fine, Barry. You were the strongest son of a bitch I knew. I, I'm so... When danger lurks, I'm so sorry, Barry. I, I'm sorry. Why can't I talk to her? Because mom got really sick and had to leave. But I know she's watching you from on high and that she loves you very much. Preston says that his dad died and he can still see him and talk to him whenever he wants. Because Preston's dad, he didn't go to heaven like your mom. Preston says his dad is in an even better place than heaven. He's at Arasaka. <sighs> Sweetie. And he said if we had more money, then mom could also be at Arasaka instead of in heaven. And then we could go and see her together every day. Honey, I'm sorry. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning. No, you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. A tortoise? Is this some kind of joke? I don't know about you, but Barry didn't seem like the kind of pig to crack jokes. But a tortoise? <laughs> it makes no sense, Johnny. Barry said he was the only person he could spill his guts to. That not a good enough reason to buy a niche in a wall? Pay a visit from time to time? Gonk Blue Eddie's looking after an expensive-ass tortoise. Just so he could talk to it? That sound normal to you? You're right. I sound like an asshole. Guy who's depressed as shit. Only friends he had wouldn't listen. What the fuck else is he supposed to do? Picture this. You've got no one. Beloved Granny's been in the ground for years. Only thing she's left behind is a dumb fucking tortoise. But when Grandma told you about life, that tortoise was there. When that same life kicked you in the nads, when poor Grams croaked, it was right there. Imagine how alone you've got to be to buy a niche for a goddamn animal. Barry's not okay. I mean, if that tortoise was the one thing that got him up in the morning... Now you're starting to get it. His friends have to know. Hopefully it's not too late. Aren't you going a little overboard? He had a bond, I get that. But does that mean you gotta dive straight down the rabbit hole? You can ignore the facts all you want. Doesn't mean the problem's just gonna up and disappear. If I were you, I'd tell his pals. People have done dumber things over less than a dead tortoise. You think it's that bad? You know how it goes. Stare too long into the abyss, the abyss will stare right back at you. Taking a step into it wouldn't be so drastic, considering the shit he's seen in his lifetime. But... Tortoise. <laughs> it makes no sense, Johnny. We'll talk later. Sign up for our Barry's in a great shape. So much so, in fact, that he preferred to talk to a tortoise instead of you two. That's supposed to be funny. The complete opposite. It's sad as hell. Barry didn't handle Badge's life too well made fun of him, so he stopped sharing things. And apart from you guys, all he had was a tortoise, his best friend, a memento of his grandma. Until he died, that is. Fuck.
I don't fucking believe this. You're bullshitting me. You want proof? Niche in the columbarium speaks for itself. Right, because I like to bullshit badges in my spare time. Why would he lie to us, though? He talked about that tortoise like it was a normal person. I just think Mendez would react if Barry admitted that he was talking to animals. Jesus, Barry. I thought he was being a drama queen, that he'd get over it. I gotta go and talk to him. About time. Thanks for your help. This is for your trouble. told you. You ain't got a warrant, you ain't coming in. Damn it, Barry. Can't we just talk? Petrova told me your last case was a real ball buster. Boss told you to keep your lips sealed, huh? Had a similar situation once, you know? Fucking child killer. Dirtbag was on the Petrochem board, so it was out of our hands. I remember it to this day. A little kid's t-shirt. Green with this funny yellow cat. Get in. 